At 11, a new revelation about something meant to be healthy. Protein drinks are growing in popularity, but are they safe? News 6's Kirsten O'Connor has what you need to know before you take your next sip. You can't trust too, too much stuff that's in these things out here these days. Like a lot of things, believe it or not. We can believe it, and a new test is proving it. The Clean Label Project is a nonprofit organization that looks at safety issues. In its latest study, 134 top-selling protein powders were tested for contaminants. When you're taking a food product, mashing it up, concentrating it down, you're concentrating those dangerous metals. That means these products contain an abnormal amount relative to what a healthy diet might have. 55% had elevated levels of BPA. All contain detectable levels of at least one heavy metal, like mercury and arsenic. Substances linked to cancer, brain damage, and reproductive issues. There's different amounts of each heavy metal in any given product, and it may even vary from batch to batch. The fact that there's any in them at all is of concern. Some of the worst offenders were organic protein powders. 70% had measurable levels of lead, but there's a reason for that. Organic products have sweeteners that use plant-based ingredients. Those usually have higher levels of lead because they absorb heavy metals from soil. The powder making process makes it hard to eliminate toxins. So the question remains, do we really need protein powder? You don't need as much as you think that you do. Many people tend to overdo it. Sometimes, you know, they think because one scoop is good, two scoops is better. Um, and in many cases, your body can't even, you know, metabolize what you're putting into it. So unless you're an athlete burning a lot of calories or someone who needs to gain weight, protein powder isn't necessary. My opinion with any supplements is that it's never a replacement for whole food and real food. And there's easy ways to get the suggested 20 to 25 grams of protein into your diet. Chicken, steak, eggs. I use different methods of protein like, you know, peanut butter, things of that nature. You can add things like yogurt, nuts, seeds, and tofu to that list. And you could be getting protein without even knowing it. Protein is being now infused into so many different foods. If you do feel like you need protein drinks or you want one as a meal on the go, just be careful about how you go about picking one. You should not buy protein powders and just go into stores and start using them haphazardly. For more tips on how to pick out a supplement that works for you and to read the complete study that actually lists out the protein powders that were tested, we have it all on our website. Just head over to clickorlando.com right now to find the story on the homepage. Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.